Hello all and welcome to Pivot Point. If you have seen the previous lecture on eigen decomposition, then this lecture is going to be very easy to understand for you. But in case you have not seen that lecture, then I would suggest that you watch that first and then jump onto this one to have a better understanding. And today we are going to talk about singular value decomposition. So by the previous lecture, you already know that we can do an eigen decomposition only for a square matrix. However, singular value decomposition is applicable for a matrix of any given size and it is represented by this one. So U, D and V transpose. Let me give you a proper breakdown for this. Let's say that we have a matrix A which has M number of rows and N number of columns, which means number of rows and column is different so it is not a square matrix in that case u will be a matrix which is concatenation of all the eigenvectors corresponding to the number of rows in matrix a so as you can see u has m number of rows and m number of columns and it is also called as left singular vector because it is corresponding to the number of rows in matrix a similarly v transpose is a matrix of all the eigenvectors corresponding to the number of columns in matrix A. So V transpose will have n number of rows and n number of columns. And it is also called the right singular vector. And as we know from the previous lecture, D is nothing but a diagonal matrix which will have the eigenvalues diagonally in the decreasing order. And this is pretty much it that you need to understand as the theory part because rest of it we will cover on our Jupyter notebook as practical demonstration. So as we have studied, the singular decomposition of a matrix A is represented as this, where U is an orthogonal matrix of M by M size and its columns are left singular vectors of A. V is an orthogonal matrix of size N by N and it is also called as right singular vector of matrix A. And D is the diagonal matrix of size M by N having elements as singular values in descending order. So for demonstration purpose, I have created this random matrix A, which has these six elements. And this time I'm using this function from the NumPy library in order to calculate the singular value decomposition. And we get these three elements as an output. So if we check the first element, which is U, it is the left singular vectors. As you can see, it has three rows and three columns. And it is because our original matrix has three rows. So this matrix U is a left singular vector which is corresponding to the number of rows in our original matrix. Then I'm checking the last element which is V transpose and it is a two by two size of matrix which is also called as right singular vector corresponding to the number of columns of the matrix A. And then D contains the eigenvalues for our matrix A. So these two eigenvalues corresponds to these two columns in the matrix A. So I'm simply using this diag function in NumPy library in order to create the diagonal matrix out of the eigenvalues. So you can see we diagonally have the eigenvalues in descending order. However, the shape of D is not compatible in order to do this multiplication. And this is why I'm increasing the size of rows in order to get this output. So so that this multiplication could be possible. And then if we go by the equation of singular value decomposition, if we multiply these three elements, then its value or output should be equivalent to the matrix A. So have a look carefully at the values of matrix A and then we are going to check the output of the multiplication for these three. So I'm multiplying u which is the left singular vector, v transpose which is the right singular vector and d which is the diagonal matrix composed by the eigenvalues and its output is exactly as the original matrix A which is now satisfying this equation of the singular value decomposition. And if you want to understand the relationship between singular value decomposition and eigen decomposition then it satisfies the following conditions. So left singular vector of matrix A will be equals to the eigenvectors of A, A transpose. The right singular vector of matrix A will be equals to the eigenvectors of A transpose A. And the non-zero singular value of A will be equals to the square root of eigenvalues of A, A transpose. And also equals to the square roots of eigenvalues of A transpose A. However, don't emphasize much on remembering these topics, okay? This is just for, as a bonus information, the idea of this lecture is to understand how singular value decomposition is working. And this is it. 
it was a quick lecture to give you some understanding on how do we decompose a non-square matrix. Drop a like below if you found it helpful and also subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next lecture.